hello friends so in this video we'll be learning about uh, how to display data or how to display records in pdo so php pdo okay so we'll be displaying some records using php pdo so for that uh, we should uh, start the code um, so this is uh, the template okay so what i have designed if you want to know how to design this you can go to my previous video insertion of data using pdo there i have clearly explained and designed this thing okay if you want to know how the data is in getting inserted okay and uh, this template how it is designed this form okay so this form how it is designed you can go to my previous video and check out how to insert data you will get it so in this i am going to display data okay so uh, this is my uh, i'm going to start now so the concept starts here from this button okay so this is my form okay so i'll just show you the form exactly how it is okay see this is my form okay so i have given insert here uh, this is my in my previous video i have explained how to insert the data using pdo php okay so now i'm going to display data okay if i click data so it should display so i'm clicking display okay so it should display one in a table format okay so for that let's go and design it i mean code it so i have given one button okay so button type is equal to submit name is equal to display okay there's no confusion done so let's go to the coding and let's start it um, yeah so i have top let's zoom it so it might be clear to you yeah it's fine so start with php and with php okay now here as a normal thing for a button we have to operate is set okay so is set is a uh, supporting for the buttons like uh, on submit type is equal to submit if you give this will support it so dollar post off so we are taking the value so which value should be taken over here so i am taking display okay so copy that paste it over here hmm? so done okay next so now the code starts here so to display uh, i am not displaying in a text box so i am just displaying a record right so i'll just display a record if you want to know how to search data into a text box using pdo you can see my next video which is available okay so let's uh, give a query for this so i'm just displaying the record so i'll just give directly okay pd query okay pdo query is equal to as normal sql thing select star from my table name so my table name is pdo demo data okay if you have any confusion with this you can go to your database check out so this is my pdo demo data so just go into that and check out okay so this is my pdo demo data mm. so yeah the next will run this query okay pdo query i'll run this oops dollar pdo query underscore run is equal to here okay now i have to give the database connection okay so to connect i have to execute this right so that query to run this query I have I need a database connection so dot PDO DB connection so from where you are getting this so I have already created a database okay so this is uh, if you want to know how to create a database connection to MySQLite PHP admin okay so you can go and check out over there so let's now uh, so to run this to execute this query we need a connection right database connection 
so for that we'll be including one okay the database so i have already given the connection in this so it will be easy for the work so i have not to declare again and again in my any folders any files so let's include this file into this my display file okay so this file name is pdodb connection.php so i'll include this file okay so include include mm, pdo db connection dot php okay so this is my database is now connected so here we want is that which connection now database connection thing you need it so it's in your database thing go to there and this is my connection database where i will get localhost username password and root okay so this is in this i have if you want to know this in detail you can go to my how to connect database so just copy this here and paste it over here okay so paste it so there will be no uh, confusion in that now we'll run this query method okay query method where you are bringing dollar which here this dollar query okay this dollar query we have to paste it over here okay so now done now you have to give run this query okay whether it is coming or not so for that it's a normal statement if statement will be using and to check whether the query is running you have to take this okay so copy this this function okay this variable stores all this value and executes it so just make it that and uh, yeah after this then give a else statement as simple okay not much complicated okay so done so we'll echo the value so we'll echo it here okay oops sorry so yeah we will type script over here if there is any error message like so alert mm. so here will be like no record or data found okay done now what the magic we have to do is over here the find the data in this okay so for that we'll uh, do some table design over here to display it so let's echo the value uh, echo mm, yeah echo will start with tr okay so there is no confusion okay just it's a very clear thing tr okay start and end tr fine so start and end tr is done now let's take a th value th okay now we'll be displaying in this some records dot okay dollar what row so before this displaying directly we have to use for loop or while loop okay so i'll be using uh, i'll use while loop okay so it will uh, i'll it will make you better clear and understanding way so for that uh, we should write while so this is my laptop it's not so good so while uh, we'll declare one row i mean variable while row is equals to dollar okay so this pdo run okay i'll take this while this dollar row pdo run okay is fetch function done in like mysql we just give this fetch function and we retrieve the value in rows fine so but here we are we will not be doing like that okay so for that we have to give uh okay let's run this so i'll it will be very clear thing 
so id okay so this is the thing where i am retrieving my id okay i'll show you what and all i am displaying first this let's this copy this copy paste copy paste copy paste so now here in this we are retrieving right so we have to see the contents into my database table name table id name and number and email i have four fields okay so i'll display it over there uh, id name number and email okay so it's done yeah so this is uh, now let's check this out so guys let's run this and check out what will be the output for us uh, let's refresh and display okay so trying to get property of id of non object so this is the error for pdo so pdo means like you are using in while loop you have given just fetch there is no pdo fetch object okay or fetch array so we will declare here pdo is to fetch fetch underscore obj yeah done so it's done right now let's give colon for not colon i think while it is not mm. okay so i'll forget to give this brackets so let's close this okay now let's run refresh display yeah so it is displaying the data okay let's a little bit design will do off for the table so it will be better and clear so just do okay so i'll make it little better so i have to tell you like i will you be using in this for each loop also okay so in this for each loop i'll try to display so table width i'll give is equals to 50 percentage and uh, border is equal to one percentage and the cell padding is equals to five and uh, I'll give one more thing. Uh, what is that? Will sell? Yeah, cell spacing. Cell spacing is equal to five. Okay. So done. Now I'll declare a tr row. Tr. So end of tr, and I will declare some td. So this simple. Nothing else. That's it. Inside this td, I'll mention id. Okay. So yeah, just copy this and paste it. Yeah, four fields, right? So in this name and number and it is email ID. Done. So let's just check out how is the design for this. Mm, continue. Yeah. Okay. So it's not in a center. So we should align it, okay? now i'll be telling that how to display in for each loop okay so for this uh so guys in this now we have to do just one thing okay one just so we'll i'll comment this that it should not read this while loop 
so I'll use for loop over, for each loop over here so for each okay open uh, curly braces so here we have to use inside for each loop this query run okay that which query is running okay so that query run and uh, paste it over here and as dollar row so it will take okay done so this dollar row i have declared over here okay so no confusion so let's run now so um, what is that google chrome yeah so <clears throat> now let's display you are getting the same error okay so for this you have to include what php object right this pdo fetch object so for this like you are using while loop for loop if you are using 10 times so you don't need to uh, display again and again again and again so for that you have to go to your database okay connection which i have uh, done already this connection if you want to know this go to my previous video how it works so here we will be declaring that the thing it should support everywhere in while loop for each loop for loop everywhere okay so let's start with this so dollar first we have to take the connection so pdo connection so pdo connection and set attribute attribute yeah attribute and we have to use now here okay here only like i'll give one more extension so it will be like no more errors will be there so php a t t r default uh, default fetch mode yeah this is all so comma now one more thing okay only two things can be included in this uh, or one more thing three things okay if you are including more it will give an error for you okay so fetch mm, fetch underscore obj yeah object done so now let's go to our code save the program save this also so there is no changes over here just i have included one line of for each loop and one line for while loop okay nothing just a simple code okay so let's go back and run it refresh the page display so see now the data is displaying so there is no error okay so that was the magic over there so like you are displaying in this while loop okay so let's comment this okay and uncomment while loop like if you forgot to put this okay now this fetch will take care of in the database thing okay so let's go back refresh so done like we'll refresh the page only display so there is no error right okay so this is the thing for this while loop also okay so if you declare inside the database this attribute okay this thing set attribute if you display you can use in while loop or for loop or fetch all everything okay so you can just use it everywhere so guys uh, this is the thing in this how we will display it so if you want to know more about it uh, like this how to work and now like how to retrieve in text box you can check out my next video it is available in my playlist for php pdo okay thank you for watching this video uh, please like subscribe and share it thank you